Now, let me share with you one of my golden rules of a sensible approach to national affairs, to political debates and to good governance. It's one that the Green left hates, but sensible people like you and I, well, we just need to understand this rule of thumb and adhere to it because reality and history prove its worth time and time again. And the rule is to be very suspicious of multilateral global action. Be very wary of supranational governance, the United Nations in particular, but all sorts of multilateral organisations or decrees. Think the Great Reset from the World Economic Forum, for instance, or even the European Union and everything they do for crying out loud. But the UN is the chief concern, of course. Just look at all their care without responsibility when it came to climate change, when it comes to climate change, and how governments around the world use the UN all care, no responsibility agenda to impose controls on us, to raise taxes, to impose penalties, while other nations, I'm looking at you, China, just take advantage of all of it. Well, I want to warn you about a new push from the UN for a new form of global influence. The UN wants to control information. They want more global action to restrict information. Have a listen to the UN Secretary General, Antonio Guterres. Digital platforms are being misused to subvert science and spread disinformation and hate to billions of people. This clear and present global threat demands clear and coordinated global action. Our policy brief on information integrity on digital, pl digital platforms puts forward a framework for a concerned international response. Yeah, what could go wrong, hey? A concerted international response from the United Nations against what it calls misinformation. Now, we all oppose hate speech and we all oppose lies, but do you want the United Nations deciding what is fact and what is fiction on global warming or on wealth redistribution or on transgender issues? I mean, remember how we've detailed on this program the secret censorship undertaken by our own government on COVID issues. It's still happening and our politicians are silent and complicit on it. Imagine the UN controlling information on a pandemic. I'm old enough to remember the World Health Organization, a UN body, defending China's actions in the early days of the COVID pandemic. This information push is a worry. Guterres was launching a new policy brief on information integrity for the digital platforms, which will kick off global action, they hope. The document concludes, from health and gender equality to peace, justice, education and climate action, measures that limit the impact of misinformation and disinformation and hate speech will boost efforts to achieve a sustainable future and leave no one behind. Even with action at the national level, these problems can only be fully addressed through stronger global cooperation. Ha! Huh. A sustainable future and leaving no one behind. And we need a global response. That's the UN seeking global control of information on climate change and on economic policy. Imagine the UN censoring and marshalling information on equality issues and climate action and even peace and justice. Be afraid, be very afraid, and push back against this stuff early on because I can guarantee you that right now there will be plenty of boffins in the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade and generally across the government who will want to sign up to this dangerous nonsense as quickly as possible.